So nearly 2,000 years ago, in a small wood of trees outside Jerusalem, Jesus spent the night agonising in prayer before he faced trial and crucifixion. Luke's Gospel tells us when Jesus got up from prayer, he came to the disciples, his closest friends, Peter, James and John, and he found them sleeping because of grief. Because of grief. Grief is so exhausting. I'm here in Ray Green and here property developer Andy Bradshaw had a brush with death last year when he contracted Covid uh, in February on a skiing holiday in Austria. And in response, he gave 65 acres of his land to become the Ray Green Remembrance Wood so people could plant trees to remember those they've loved and lost. Local vicar Philip Chu invited me to come to bless the wood last August and I turned up in surprise to find 200 people at the open air service um, with 400 watching live on Facebook. The day was a lot less windy than it is today, but the grief was palpable. On the National Day of Reflection last week, Granada Reports made a feature of his story. And what a special place this is. You know, just standing here listening to birdsong and other wildlife that the Bradshaws have encouraged to come here just forces you to stop and take stock of the last 12 months. And the person who described this place as a little piece of heaven was the Bishop of Lancaster, who joins us now, the Right Reverend Dr. Jill Duff. You held a service here some months ago. How, what kind of experience was that, blessing these trees? Oh, it was such a beautiful moment because we all need space to grieve and space to be sad. And as a Christian, I believe that death doesn't have to be the end, that Jesus came back from the dead so that we could know that there could be life after death and um, in the Bible it's a beautiful picture of heaven at the end where there's trees (laughs) and which have leaves for healing and for me this is a beautiful image of um, a taster of heaven. Grief is so exhausting and there have been many other griefs this last year. Livelihoods, schooling, relationships, just the exhausting uh, amount of work some of our key workers have had to do. It's been an exhausting year And there are still trials and challenges ahead. And yet there's a beautiful thread through scripture and the lives of our saints. It seems in those dark times of trial and crucifixion are mysteriously linked to the reality of the resurrection. In lockdown, I've discovered the writings of the English mystics, men and women of the word and spirit, whose extraordinary exuberance and joy is balanced by lament and tears. Peter was there in that wood with Jesus, the garden of Gethsemane, on the night before Jesus died. And some years later, he went on to write this. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the painful trial you're suffering as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice that you participate in the sufferings of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. So on this second Easter in a global pandemic, in the midst of suffering and pain, may heaven draw near. May you catch a glimpse of that beautiful image of heaven where there are trees with leaves for the healing of the nations where God draws near to wipe every tear from our eyes. May you know Jesus for yourself, living, breathing, back from the dead, touching your wounds, sharing your sufferings as you share in his. And may you glimpse Jesus in his glory, telling you that one day it's going to be okay. Amen. Amen.